dogs seem to be natural at socializing. They get along with new people, love spending time in public, and even greet other dogs with curiosity rather than trepidation. However, this sort of friendly attitude doesn't come easy for all dogs, but the good news is that you can certainly help things along. In today's video, we will learn how to stop dog aggression toward other dogs. Start socializing your dog now. Socialization is very important for dogs, and it starts when they are with their litter mates. By playing with their siblings, they develop a tolerance for having other dogs around, and also learn important lessons, such as how hard is too hard when it comes to biting. Pups that leave their mom before eight weeks of age are often shy, and sometimes even aggressive, as they haven't had the proper amount of socializing. But this is something you can help with for dogs of any age. It's all about getting them used to the world around them. If you live alone, try having friends over more often to introduce them to your dog. Taking extra walks outside, especially at the local park or dog park. Also give your dog more exposure to other animals. Once the initial fear of this exposure wears off, your dog will be a little more relaxed around other animals. But you'll need to be patient. These things do take time. You can also help things along by working together with a neighbor or friend who has their own dog so that your dog can make a new friend. This can make an enormous difference, as your dog will slowly begin to see that the world around them is not necessarily hostile, but rather a nice place where they might just make new friends. Leash training goes a long way. Proper leash training is more important than we think. It teaches our dogs to behave properly outside. It is important that your dog knows that you are the leader. If you learn to take control on the walks, your dog will feel safer with you because they will trust you to keep them out of trouble. And if you fail to establish this, they may assume that it's their duty to keep you out of trouble, and the trouble is mostly other dogs for them. Remember, dogs have a pack mentality, and proper control will help your dog see you as the alpha so that they are less fearful and unlikely to be aggressive with new people or their dogs. Understand that your dog is following your lead. You might not realize it, but your dog picks up on your attitude, which greatly impacts their behavior. When you are uncomfortable or fearful, they'll see and smell it on you, and this can cause them to be cautious or even aggressive. When you are confident and in a good mood, your dog tends to become more playful and relaxed as well. Now that you know this, try using it proactively by projecting as much of a happy attitude as you can, but with commands. Be sure to use a firm, friendly voice. If your dog seems upset, tell them to sit and tell them it is okay in a soothing voice. With frequent practice, your dog will notice your confident, no-nonsense attitude, and they'll be much more relaxed around other people or animals. Some final words on teaching your dog to keep their cool. While you might think that your dog is a hopeless cause when it comes to getting along with other animals, this is simply not the case. By socializing your dog as often as your schedule allows, you can help them get used to other people and animals, and it will make a difference. Leash control also needs to be something that you'll need to work on. This ensures that your dog is confident when you lead them, and when your furry friend starts feeling like you're in charge, they will feel safer and more relaxed. Finally, remember that dogs pick up on your attitude. You need to take control by projecting command and confidence every time, so your dog will feel like they are traveling with the alpha of their pack. Hang on to these three tips and use them all together. It will take time, but if you stick with it, you will definitely see the results. Later! <laughs>